Welcome guys to Your Gaming Techies VR Show, a show where we look at PC VR, PSVR, and mobile VR, and give you guys my thoughts and opinions to see if it's worth your time and money. And today we're looking at a game called B Team. Now this game has a lot of cool things, a lot of cool variety in the game, and the gameplay is just something I haven't seen on Oculus Go as of yet. And you know what? Let me show you and tell you what, see what it's like. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. Alright guys, so here we are with B Team. This game recently released, and I actually wanted to start from the main menu because I actually think, given the controller uh, input here with the uh, retro graphic, I think this intro screen is probably the best looking intro like menu for a game I've seen on the Oculus Go. I just love how how this looks right here in the 3D effects and the fire and stuff. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this game. So I started this game over so you guys can kind of see what it's like. This is the main menu of the game here. And this game actually has a lot of people wondering sometimes because they don't do a really good job sometimes of actually, actually explaining you what the controls are and what you need to do. So I hope to answer some of those questions for you guys in, these, in this review as well. So we're going to go ahead and start with chapter 1. I can't promise you that we're not going to fail sometimes, because even knowing the controls, sometimes you either A, forget, because there's a lot going on, actually, or B, you know, the game's actually pretty decently hard. So, this game changes all the time. So the first level here is a running level. So, but there's more to it than that, but the first level is a running level. So, what I'm doing here is moving the Oculus controller left or right, and I already hit something by accident. But that's fine. and it's telling us to hit this guy so this is the guy who actually punches so you need to know that so and the trigger is what actually punches the guy so you wait for him to come in your view and that's the guy that punches he's a heavy hitter so when you want to knock enemies out he's the one you would go for you can see your lives there at the corner i already knocked one out by accident before so you're trying to also get these medallions here of course this game has a lot of variety. A lot of variety. Like, all the levels are different. Alright, so we're coming up to this trap here. So it's time to hit this. It's this guy who can go through that. So you follow his footsteps, and now you just the escape without getting hit. So he tells you where to go, you run over there to that spot, and he doesn't get hit by the mines. That's basically how that mechanic works with, that, with the guy there. And it's all based on the trigger. Uh, that's what I'm using for all these all these things, besides the uh, touch screen. So... We got another one here. It's this guy here in the corner. He jumps. Nailed it. And you don't get hit. These things we just avoid and go around them without getting hit. So we got another mine. It's telling you to pop that up. You go to the bottom guy again. And we're going to get hit. Because we missed the uh, footsteps there that time. We should have hit that button earlier. We do got a life over here, though. And what's nice about this is I played this game before, and I don't... Uh, hold on. Uh, I played this game before, and it feels like this level changed a bit. So this girl does that, so you kind of point... kind of are supposed to point at all these things and have her fire her missiles, which I am not doing a very good job of. Alright. So... We're going to retry that again, obviously. This game is uh, kind of hard to play also while you're uh, trying to talk, but at least now you guys have an idea of what I'm doing. So I won't have to talk as much, so let's go ahead and get moving here. I feel like the, the level has things in different places than when I played this game the first time. I don't know. Maybe I just have a bad memory. So we get this guy. Come here. Boom. Boom, let's go. And you guys will see this for yourself here in a little bit. But what's nice about this game is that every level seems to have a different, like, mechanic on what you're doing. So this game's a running level. But the next level will be completely different than that. And that's what keeps the variety in this game really good and what makes this game stand out from any of the other VR games that I've played um, on here. Well, let's do this early this time. So we don't mess it up. There we go. What is a man? A miserable pile of secrets! 
Alright, so we're doing much better this time. No jinx. You got the fishes there coming up. Hop over that. Damn right. Alright, so we're getting the mines again. Let's go to the side. Do a barrel roll! Alright. That worked out. I don't know if we can get extra lives. Oh yeah, we can. Cool. Um, Alright, so we're going to be... I know that this is the girl that we're going to need. So I'll get her ready. But we did that correctly that time. So you basically got to look and point at all of them and then hit the trigger to blast them all. Look at all of them, target them, hit the trigger, blast them all. Get this guy out. I didn't even take steroids. All right, we're doing well here. We're doing well. Got our full lives here and an extra one on top of it. And this is also almost the end of the level, so. Unless if I completely hit every rock coming up. Ain't no way we're failing this. That is the end of level one. So you can see a lot of things that they throw at you. You really got to learn how to switch characters. And the characters get switched with the uh, touch sensor the button. Each character is on one side, as you can tell when it pops up. So mission accomplished. It gives you a score, 100% health, 100% of the medals we got. So let's go ahead and jump into right the next level. We're going to see if we can do the first three levels for you guys. But if we fail the second mission, like I have a couple of times... We might only do the first two, but it still gives you a good idea of what the game is like. So, now this is a shooting game. Uh, not a shooting game, but a, like a wave shooter now. So now we're trying to blast these things, and each one of the characters now has a special okay, power with their guns. So they all have a different gun, and you'll see that here in a minute. So this is the girl's power. So it's just a regular uh, machine gun. These things blow up. You need to kill them fast. If they get close to you... You take damage from them. This is where you fall down. Oh, we took one already. You can see how crazy this gets. Alright, so this guy is trying to snipe me. So this bottom guy is a sniper. So we're good. Get that out of here. And ringing in your ears is the afterlife calling. Forever. Right in the eye. Oh. I see your inside. Wait. Oh, damn it. We got lucky we were able to pull that off. Alright, so that was wave one of that one. We're not done yet. This is now wave two. So we got three of our health so far. So... No. Lasagna, you can see that we can't kill that guy with his normal weapon. It was the hit him with the sniper. This guy needs to get killed with this weapon. So we blow him up. So that was a guy on the right there. So this is something, like I said, uh, this is something you need to start memorizing in this game. Because certain things will only kill certain things. As, oh, I didn't even see that. And there's a sniper guy here at the top. 
This is pod racing. We got him and that rocket. Ah, uh, we need this. Freeze him in his spot. Got another health thing over there, thank god. Oh, here we come with these things. Oh, we need these still. Go ahead and get the sniper out. Nothing compares to me! Got him on the side. Get out of here. Missed that guy coming up. He had something he could have dropped, but it's fine. You ain't bad. You ain't nothing. You don't have to worry about ammo with these, which is a good thing. I think. I think that was the end of wave two. All right, so that is the end of wave two. Now we're here with wave three. See if we can finish this off. So this is gonna require this guy's bomb. No, not that one. This guy. He still took me out anyway. Ridiculous. Heard a lot. Awesome. So we got this thing out. Let's go that guy real quick. So it, it gets really intuitive once you figure out what they each have, but Please, they just don't do. They sometimes don't do a great job of telling you. I didn't even see those. That go was back nonsense. home, stupid aliens. Right in the eye. Oh, thank God. And the aiming works uh, really well. Thank God you don't have to worry about ammo. Come on, where does that come from? It's hectic. Oh my god, we just made it. Tell me there's not a way forward. Oh man, I almost I forgot I almost forgot if there was a way forward or not. So we made it past that by our hair. You saw what our health was left at. By a hair. We made it past that level. So we're gonna do one more for you guys. Let's see what this is like. Another shot. But you can see how varied the gameplay is. This is not what we were doing, obviously. The, uh... Chapter before. There we go. What do you mean we failed? Disarm the aliens. Not really understanding actually how we're failing right now. Oh, I didn't even see that there's a fourth weapon over there. I am blind. Wow. Jesus, it really wants us to do this fast, doesn't it?
So this is the second part of this. So now we're smashing them with a hammer. So we thought we were crazy before with not knowing what to do. But we weren't. It was what we did. We just didn't do it fast enough like they wanted it. So we missed out on the time, which confused me for a second. Because I knew that's how I did it the first time I played, but then it wasn't working and I was like, um, this makes no sense. But I, this game is just a lot of fun. Do you see it? Uh, I'm locking the gate. I would definitely failed that. Oh, we just had that. This one really doesn't want to turn green for me. Nope. Damn, this is hard. Alright. So, we're gonna actually end it here because, um, you know, for the sake of the length of this video, we can play this game forever. But I think that gives you a pretty good idea of what you're supposed to do. That last one was pretty simple. I had to rotate the controller, you know, in, until the bottom of the lock. You saw the green filling up. You have to do it quickly on all three. And once you do it and you hit the certain area that it wants you to and it highlights in green, it unlocks. So once you get all three, obviously you go through the gate. But that gives you a pretty varied idea of what the game is like. They're always throwing new things that you can see that last mission is completely different to anything we were doing in the first one. Um, and the second one, for that matter. And they keep throwing stuff at you, like, you know, th random stuff at you like that throughout the whole game. It's a, it's a really, really, uh, you know, fun game. But let's actually get out of virtual reality. Let's get back into reality. And let's give you, let me give you guys my final thoughts on this game. All right, guys. So that was a look into B-Team. Now, this game has been a lot of fun. You saw in the footage there, the even in the short three levels that we played, and the game has a lot of levels in it. You may have seen that in the very beginning of the video in the level selection. They have a lot of different levels and a lot of different environments. Uh, the forest is actually one of four, I believe, that are in the game. Um, and each one has all those levels in it. So there's just variety everywhere in this game, and that's what stands out to me about this game. Not only is the variety good, the game, the gameplay that you're doing in that variety is, is pretty well done for the most part. I mean, the shooting felt good in that second level. The, even the, the running in the first level felt good. You weren't just running like you know, a regular runner. You actually had to use your characters, use their powers, and you know, do certain things in the level. And I already know once I get to the harder levels, like the, the very end one, it's going to be crazy because trying to remember sometimes in the heat of the moment if they're throwing things at you in rapid succession and trying to like switch characters and stuff. It's, uh, it gets definitely challenging. I mean, we lost a few times there with the uh, alien thing because we had, we weren't doing it fast enough, which we got confused there for a second. So I was like, I know I've done this before, and I know that it was taking all the guns away, but it wasn't working that last time that we actually did it. But I guess we just missed the timer but when we picked up that last fourth one that uh, it didn't work because it did work, that, you know, obviously after that. But uh, the graphics, as you can tell, are also pretty well done. Um, you know, for mobile VR, I have no complaints. It looks good in there. And... Uh, as far as, you know, the gameplay, like I said, the variety's there, the gameplay's good, um, the sound is obviously good, you, you heard that for yourself, it's, it's, you know, fits the theme and everything, has a lot of humor and comedy into it, uh, it's actually pretty funny, I don't know if, I don't know if we heard it in the video or not, to be honest, I don't remember, but when you die, sometimes he makes, like, the sound effect of, like, almost like Metal Gear Solid from back in the day, um, where the way he's, like, screaming his name and stuff, like, he just died, it's like, snake, 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 you know, like, they, they do a lot of, like, comedy stuff and throw bits like that, and then that, I, when I died the first time and heard that, that was, that was pretty cool. Um, as far as negative goes, the only negative thing that I don't even think they can solve that I don't think is them is that since the characters are on all four, well, there's two negatives, actually, but this is the main one. Um, since the characters are on the, the touchpad circle and each quad, like, each section is a person, Sometimes when you're using it, and I had some trouble with it, not as much in the video, but when I was playing it the first time, where 
if you have to switch characters right away, if it's throwing things at you right away, sometimes you go and you, because you have to press it first and then swipe to the area. Sometimes you press and swipe and it doesn't actually switch character. Um, that could just be me because I'm not hitting it like as firmly as I'm supposed to. Or it could just be, you know, the, the touch controller, that's just how it's going to be if they want to map those four characters on there or if there's anything else going on. But it's not terrible. Obviously, even in the video, you didn't see me really like have any issues with it. But I definitely struggled with like getting used to the the quadrant and the and switching them sometimes and sometimes even now when I played it a lot sometimes it's like you switch to it and you're like damn I didn't switch the character because you see him not switching on the top so you have to hit it again and switch him again and luckily it pauses like not completely I don't know if you noticed that in the video it doesn't pause completely but it pauses a little bit where you have uh, it like slows down the time in half where you when you switch characters so like the things don't run at you at full speed because that would be terrible. Uh, so there's that too. So you do have some time to get that character correct. The only other issue I had uh, with the game is what we kind of talked about is that the they do have like in the settings option, there's like a thing, a blurb you can read about each character and what they do in the game. So it, it kind of gives you an idea, which I didn't realize was there because most people obviously just go to the start and assume that there's going to be a tutorial when the game starts, but there isn't really. Um, but there is, like, in the settings, like, an instruction manual, it gives you the options of all four characters, but at least you have an idea what the characters do, because if you do what most people do, and just hit the start button, like most people do, they don't go into settings, they just hit start, and, you know, play the game, and they teach you as you play, that's what 95% of the games do out there most of the time, but when you start this game, it's, uh, like, that first level, the way you saw it is the way you play it the first time, like, it just assumes that, like, yeah, it pops up with the character that you should be switching to, but it doesn't tell you what button it is, which is the trigger button, like I mentioned. It doesn't tell you, like, what their powers actually are. It doesn't tell you when you hit that guy that you have to follow his tracks to get around those mines. It doesn't tell you any of that stuff. You kind of have to know, either read the settings or try by error and figure that out like I did. And then I found the settings, which was useless after that. But, you know, once you read the settings, if you read that in advance or you see this video, now you have an idea on how the characters, like, go with each other. Um, you'll, you'll get the hang of it, obviously, like, you know, after a few tries, it was just, you know, for the first few tries that you're doing it, and you're seeing no tutorial and stuff, you definitely are going to get frustrated, I've seen some people online already with that, so keep in mind there's some stuff in the settings to look at, and then hopefully this video helped you guys out with that as well. Um, but that's it guys, I really recommend this game, this is one of my top favorites on the Oculus Go currently, easily in my top 5, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So, if you guys have any questions about anything you saw or anything about this game, leave the comments below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Gaming Techie is the Gaming Tech. Gaming Techie. Gaming Tech. Eating Brecky is the Gaming Tech. Going for a Brecky is the Gaming Tech. Gaming Techie is the Gaming Tech. Gaming Techie.